Hi there, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz. It's just ground clutter around the radar site. Skies are crystal clear right now. We're going to stay that way, it looks like, here for tonight. And then tomorrow, things will change a little bit for us. Let's tell you the details here right now in Future Tracker. Tonight again, we're dry. We're going to be clear. And then looks like we start out tomorrow with sunshine. However, look what happens in the afternoon tomorrow. After about 1, 2 o'clock, we start to see a little more cloud cover working its way in from the southwest to the northeast. So the first folks to see some cloud cover tomorrow afternoon will probably be folks around rural retreat, Withville, areas around Independence. The last folks to see some cloud cover tomorrow afternoon will be folks around Lovingston and also into Amherst. Going to turn mostly cloudy as we head into Thursday night. And I would say after about maybe 2, 3 o'clock in the morning on Friday, may start to see some spotty showers moving in, especially in areas south of Highway 460. Scattered showers will be around Friday morning, then late Friday morning into the afternoon, into the evening, into the overnight Friday. That's where we're really going to pick up on a very good chance for some rain. And where you see these yellows and oranges, that's an indicator of the potential for some heavy rain as we head into Friday afternoon and Friday evening as well. This is a progressive storm system, meaning it's going to move. So we are looking at things improving for us as we head into Saturday. But here's our next storm system. What's happening is we've got the remnant moisture from Hurricane Willa kind of merging with a cold front. The two are going to become one low pressure system. This low pressure system is going to move to the north and to the east. And as it does, it's going to bring us the wedge. It's also going to allow for perhaps a little bit of a light wintry mix, maybe even a few light snow showers into the higher elevation, say above 2,500 feet on Friday. The rest of us just going to deal with the cold rain, but it's gone as we head into Saturday afternoon. So I think it's Saturday morning we're going to have some leftover showers around. By Saturday afternoon, we'll dry things out. Most of Sunday is dry. Then a secondary storm system will swing through here as we head into Sunday evening, lasting through the midday hours of Monday, bringing us yet another round of rain. So what does all this mean for several events coming up here over the next couple of days? Let's first go chronologically and talk about the first one. Virginia Tech, Georgia Tech, kickoff tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Look for increasing clouds, cool temperatures that kick off right around 47 degrees. Friday night football does not look to be good right now as far as the forecast is concerned. We're looking at periods of rain. Some of the rain could be locally heavy. It's going to be cool. Temperatures will hold fairly steady right around 43. Again, if you are going to high school football Friday evening, make sure to have the poncho or an umbrella handy. It's going to be raining. But Martinsville, a big race going on this weekend. Doesn't look too bad. Saturday 60 with spotty showers early in the day. We'll clear things out in the afternoon. Most of Sunday's dry, maybe a stray shower during the day with highs around 63 with even some breaks of sunshine. It's really Sunday evening into midday Monday where we're going to see a much better shot for rain. For, so for if there's any reason at all that the race is delayed a little bit on Sunday, as soon as the sun goes down, the chance for rain increases. It's 43 right now in Roanoke, 39 South Boston, 37 in Blacksburg, 36 in Withville. For tonight, mainly clear. We're chilly. Lows tonight in the 30s, arguably cold outside in some spots, even some frost possible in the mountains. Morning sun tomorrow gives way to more afternoon clouds with highs in the 40s and 50s. Your extended forecast highs only in the 40s on Friday, upper 50s Saturday, lower 60s Sunday, 50s return Monday and Tuesday, lower 60s on Halloween. We will see more sunshine after some residual cloud cover on Monday, on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week when we're going to be mostly sunny again.